Hey guys, Sasha here. Welcome back to another live game commentary. Today I want to play some Clad Jungle and I want to ask the question why not Clad Jungle? I mean, if you think about it, he's on paper got all the tools to succeed as a jungler. He's got a gap closer and decent CC for his ganks. He's resourceless, decent single target damage. Why won't Kled work as a jungler? You never see him really as a jungler. I'm sure there are some of you in the comments who will be like, well, I've been playing Clay Jungle since he was released, actually. I'm, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm sure there are some Clay Jungle players out there, but not really a thing. So let's play it and let's see how it goes, shall we? Uh, to be fair, there are some Clay one tricks that I've been stalking. You know, I do these like weird spectate uh, commentaries and stuff, and some of the Clay one tricks will play them anywhere. They play them, including jungle. So. Uh, it, it can be a thing, and today we're going to be doing it ourselves and just giving it a pop in the old uh, Scuttle Crab patch because, yes, uh, things are... I actually kind of think he's better in this patch than the previous patch because he's he's very good at taking Scuttle Crabs. So I, th I think that that works to his uh, to his benefit. So here are your runes, guys. In the bottom left, you can see him. I've gone for Pressy Attack, Triumph, Alacrity, and Coup de Gras, with secondary being Water Walking and Celerity. That secondary tree is very standard for junglers nowadays. If you think you might be fighting an enemy jungler, because it gives you decent damage uh, for those 1v1s uh, when you're contesting Scuttle Crab, especially because you're in the river, obviously. Um, and the primary, like, on top lane Kled, you can go Conqueror, but Conqueror or Press the Attack is very uh, preferential. And as a jungler, I think that Press the Attack is better. Um, because you don't get the time when you're ganking, really, uh, to get off your... Uh, to get off your Conqueror, because it takes a little while for it to actually go in. Whereas with Press the Attack, especially with the Kled's W, you get that off a lot faster, the only three hit thing. So if I were playing in top lane, you know, you can do either Press the Attack or Conqueror. Uh, but in the jungle, I think press the attack is better. So I'm going to go for uh, a top lane here. Sorry, uh, a Gromp camp here. And then I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I sort of want to go top lane, but uh, GP is very low and he wants to farm those minions. So it might not be a good idea to go top lane there. And these Grumps are going to kick my ass a little bit. So uh, I might be a little bit low, in fact. So the core idea on uh, on Claire is to kind of just get through your early game a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go top lane here. Get through your early game. Is this going to knock me? I really don't want to go into mini form here. <laughs> get through the early game uh, and then buy a Tiamat and then you actually kind of work as a jungler. <laughs> Alright, you know what? You don't need me, so I'm just going to chill out. Now this could be a risky gank here, lads. I'm... I'm, you know, I'm kind of low. Doesn't look like I'm that low, but I am pretty low here, so... Let's see whether or not this is a good idea. That was very close. Are we pushing this? Oh god. Don't risk it, buddy. <laughs> Do not risk that shit, mate. Please. I beg you. Let's get out of here. Woof. I'm going to type... I'm going to type oof in chat. That was close. That is the bread and butter Kled gank there. You jump in with your E. And uh, then you go for the... Bear trap on a rope. And just see what you can do. Very close there, but honestly, ganking for a Cassidy in early game, uh, not usually a good idea, really. I mean, ganking for Cassidy is, is difficult, really. He's, uh... Ganking for Cassidy is tricky. He, he's not, he doesn't offer much in these early ganks. Now, I want to go for the top light, top scuttle here. There it is, it's just spawned. Scuttle crab priority is pretty huge in this patch, so... Just gonna... I mean, it, it's huge, but you don't... You don't have to get it early, really. Like, it's overrated to get it early. But my, my smite's up anyway, so... This is going to lead me perfectly into an Orn play as well. Beautiful. Excelente. Lux has no defensive summoners here, so I might be able to get something cheeky on him. Uh, also, I should mention, by the way, if you're playing this kind of like... Not so good junglers or junglers that are kind of off meta, shall we say? Then going for Scott Crab is very, very important because those are the 
that's that's a free camp for you like it's it's legitimately free like it doesn't cost you it's it doesn't hurt you it's not gonna um fight you it, it, it is free you, you should go for those as best you can because i mean if you struggle at clearing the jungle you really should get that <laughs> really should go for the old skull crabs Right, we'll take the Grump and then we'll recall here. Not Grump, Krugs. Take the Krugs and then we will recall for our tier mats. Gives us much better AoE clears. As you can see, kind of struggling in the AoE department. All I've got really is my Q. Decent single target with my W, but we're going to go for a team mat, Warring Charm, Black Cleaver build. And then maybe like a Sterex potentially afterwards. Um... I'm not 100% sure what we'll get after that. We could just go tanky as well. I don't really have a tank on our team, so I could do that. Um, you know, standard tank items at that point, randoms. Uh, that kind of thing. But I think Cled works best with this kind of bruiser build, and having a Sterics would be good for that. I'm just going to run down bot lane here in case Jin gets a little bit too big for his boots. Oh, my team doesn't need me. Maybe. Oh, crap. I'm inting. Oh! I'm good. Yep, I'm... That was silly of me. <laughs> no need for me to do that. I mean, it's it works out fine, but... I shouldn't have done it still. Still, we're going to get the third Skull Crab of the game. Nice. Setting Cassidy up for success there. That was a terrible, terrible... Q. <laughs> Can I even do, like, blue buff with this? <laughs> I think we can. To be honest, the attack speed removal on Hunt's Machete actually really sucks for Kled. Do I have to smite this? I'd rather not. Whew, that was close. Alright, I'm out of here. Let's go for my medallion. Then I will... Oh, is it a medallion talisman? Talisman. Then I'll just head topside again, I think. Get my... I can do red into, into chickens here. I'll be level 6. I'm... I kind of think Kled plays a bit like Nocturne at level 6, or, or the way you use his ultimate is similar to Nocturne. Maybe like Rengar as well, where you basically just want to lane gank with it. So, for example, what I mean by that is I will probably go bot lane with it, and I'll just sit here and press R like here, and then I'm basically guaranteed to hit someone with it, and to get a good ultimate off. God, that is that is juicy. Right, here we go. I'm going in. I actually. S mm, okay, that's fair enough. You know what? I'll accept it. We get a flash, it's okay. Got two smite stacks here, I will probably have to concede that top scuttle crab. But that's fine. Gonna go for the red smite here as well. And a long sword. Ultimate has a pretty high cooldown at this level as well, guys. So you have to be very careful with how you use it. I, I mean, I did, I did get a flash for it, which is okay, and I got Rengar's ultimate for it as well. So I don't think it was a terrible use of the ulti, but I think for this cooldown, I, I, I feel like if you don't get a kill with it, that's kind of bad, you know. Anyway, I'm going to just sit in the spot lane bush and. Play sort of aggro in preparation for this gank. Just slide in here. No ultimate, obviously, but I will be able to just jump in with my E.
But depending on whether or not my bot lane pushes this one, will determine whether I, we can actually go for this play. If my, if my bot lane pushes, then this won't work. And it looks like maybe they know something's up here. So I'm just going to walk away. That's a cool sound effect, walking through the river. Maybe I can go back down here, actually. Okay. That's all right. No, don't walk in. Oh gosh. I used my ult to save him and he just, okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's not quite what I had in mind there, buddy. Not quite what I had in mind. Maybe I should focus onto a different lane, lads. Maybe this bot lane is not the place for me to go. Potentially. Also, a good argument for why picking lane bullies is risky in League if you're not 100% confident in it, or just in general, if you're... If you're... Uh, Champion pool involves lane bullies and early game champions. Game, you, it can be a bit hit and miss, right? Because if you if you do not succeed in that early game, you are really screwed. Like if this guy was playing something like let's just say Tristana, for example, if he was playing Tristana, it really wouldn't be a problem if he struggles early because he can just farm up and scale and whatever. He'll be strong later on. But playing Lucian and failing in the early game. Now that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Because you don't really... I mean, you're at your strongest point early on, right? And so to not be strong at that point... Oof, that makes things a bit tricky here. But having said that, it's League. Anything can happen. Nice grasp. Good flash. Come on, on. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's too bad I'm a busted champion on, mate. <laughs> Absolutely too bad about that one. Sacrifice the scuttle crab for that play. What a team player. I did full-on sacrifice it there. But it's worth it. Oh, I saw you, Rengar. I saw you. Okay, let's see what you got up, up your sleeve, shall we? I'm going to have to put a ward over this wall here. There he is. See, now, see, just putting that wall down sometimes is enough to deter and invade. It is. See, he's running away now. Or hopefully he's running away. <laughs> If he could just take it by brute force. Like, I can't stop him. If he wants it, it's his, really. I genuinely can't stop him. But the fact that he... The fact that... Yeah. The fact that he knows I'm here. And knows that I know he's there. Might push him away. Now, those are Rengar's first two kills of the game. But we're still struggling as a team here, boys. Maybe I can... Oh, oh, I got knocked off. I wasn't paying any attention. That's okay. It's okay. Let's run away from here, boys. Get me, warrior enchant. Get out of here. Right. So, Cassadin, we, we talked about how early game champions, if you don't win early, really suck. So, Lucian is in a bit of a bad spot. We've already touched on that. But both Gangplank and Cassadin are pretty good as the game goes on. Uh, so, this game is not lost by any means, really. But I, I, I would like to prioritize those people over bot lane. Um, the only really exception to that rule is if you think that by yourself, you can still make plays happen. Which I probably, I would argue that we can, honestly. Oh, I should have flash queued this one. Okay. I flashed to get the blast cone, but it's not even up, so... <laughs> Whatever. Killing spree, let's go, boys. Let's get this scuttle as well here. Yeah. 
Man, this is... Yeah, that is clean. He's good at taking that shit. I think we're just gonna back away from that one. We, we see Rengar top though. If we see Rengar top, I would really like to go for this play. Yeah, here we go. Oh boy. Uh. Am I dead? Woo! Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> She used the scuttle crowd to run away from this one, but this is still a bit scary. <laughs> oh boy. We are absolutely boned. <sighs> Almost. Almost had my next daughter there. Oh, GP is. Oh, oh, come on, GP. You can't do that. You can't do that, buddy. Oh, that's unlucky. Wait, me? What did I do? <laughs> How did I ruin bot lane? What? <laughs> uh, okay. Apparently, that's my fault, lads. I would tend to disagree, honestly, with that one. <laughs> Disagree, honestly. Alright. I got my ultimate up in 13. I would like to go mid lane with this one. Nice. Sort of. Would have liked to give him that kill over to Cassadin, but still, kill is a kill. And we saw Rengar was around here. So we know he's not going to be around to stop us taking this if we get it as soon as it spawns. And it spawned right away. Beautiful stuff. Alright, perfect. Oh, GP is taking my jungle. Is he going to recall here? What's he doing? This is a big minion way for him to lose. He is on his way up, that's fine. Oh god, he hurts. Okay, he did a lot more damage than I thought he would there. And he's got flash as well. Fuck. I went in because I saw a GP coming in. I didn't expect to die that fast. That is my bad. Holy crap, he does so much damage and he's so tanky. Why does he do that much damage? Good question. Then again, I actually don't really have any defensive stats versus him, do I? Apart from this like 25 MR from Max. Well, he hurts. That's my bad though. I didn't realize he did that much damage. That was quite surprising, honestly. Hashtag tank BTW. No. Lux is coming down through here, so I'm just going to keep running down. I've got 10 seconds on my ulti. I don't think they can catch me before that's up either way. Alright, Jin is around this area, I believe. Oh, that's the Rengar. He's going to go bottom, pretty sure. Oh, is he diving? Apparently he's close to... Yeah, he's diving. Point blank. Hard to dodge skill shots. Perfect. Yo, that is two huge shutdowns as well, and a, a nice GP ulti there. 
Good R. I'm gonna say good R. So where's Brand? We know Brand's he was top lane. So he should be around here still. Kassadin actually hurts him because he's basically only bought MR. Sorry, armor. So Kassadin really hurts that guy. Alright, I'm 6 2 and 1. We're having a pretty good show of things, in my humble opinion. Can I get this or no? Okay. Having a we're doing decently. I've had I, I would say that first death I had was just a bit, maybe, I was a bit out of position, but that's a bit, you know, I probably can't avoid that one. The second one was definitely a mistake. Um, yeah, let's go for some pink awards here. But all in all, not, not terrible stuff, not terrible stuff. Uh, I still think we have a hope in this game because we are able to get some shutdown gold. I think we have good tools to deal with the enemy team uh, in Gangplank and in Kassadin specifically. And this build from Lucian, a crit build at least makes him scale better than if you're going for a lethality build, in my opinion. Because his auto attacks will be hitting quite a lot. And on the plus side, the enemy team is quite, um, well, the enemy Jin, I should say, is quite low range. So then again, the low range would actually help him in the lane phase more than anything else. That's kind of, that is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Yeah, this one isn't happening, is it? Can I E through walls? No, oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, we can just defend. Oh! That was risky. Just gotta defend as best we can here. GP should use his barrels to defend, but. That's a good calling, actually. Oof. It's a bit of a butt clench moment. 424, you're joking. Okay, he's got IA. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Here we go, boys. Am I going to in? What's the story in Balamori? Okay, we've got a flash. Oh. Okay, I'm really low here. How did I get an assist on that? Seriously. What did I do to get that assist? Oh, I see you, girl. I see you. Ouch. <laughs> what the heck? Yo, I need some armor, man. This game sucks. You know what? I'm just going to get out of here. Before I do something really stupid. I tried to preemptively flash her either. Or binding or whatever. Fuck! I am so fucked. I actually reckon if I didn't get zapped by Jin, I may be able to kill him still. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think I may be able to kill him. But I ran a risky path there, I guess. Uh, Alright. So, Titanic Hydra, I'm going to be in this game, but I really want some armor. Do I go for armor now? That's the only thing. Mm. Do I get armor here and go like randoms or something? Or would that GA be enough? Would GA be enough, do you reckon, guys? I mean, it's not that much armor, but it is some. 30 armor, it's like cloth armor, like two cloth armors or a chain vest. There's not much armor at all. Mm, I think I need a bit more armor than that. Yeah, we're going to go around wins, guys. It's pretty good versus Jin as well, obviously. A crit build. Yeah, I can. I'm feeling this. And he's dead. Lock on to him through the blast cone. No. Close. That's a pretty long cooldown, honestly. 98 seconds still. 
Considering I've got like rank two. By the way, I'm not really sure what I want to max second, so I'm just maxing both. <laughs> I think W might be better though, because your E reducing the cooldown I think is really good. But hmm. I just feel like it might be better to. Hmm. I don't know. I I just think that you only get to, you're only really gonna get to use it once anyway, right? And W is, is better for clue and jungle creeps, so I think W would be better overall. Like, regardless of what top lane Kled would do, I think W would be better for jungle Kled. But I, I think that it's kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Not, not a huge one. I think as long as you're maxing Q, you're fine. To be fair, you probably need, don't even need to max Q. Let's group up here, because if Rengar presses R... We want to put a bit more focus on the crabs as well now, guys. Early game crabs are good. But late game crabs are worth a lot. Like, they're really valuable. You get like 140 gold to them. It's quite, quite significant. So if you can, you should definitely go for them. The only downside of going for, thing, go for, going for them in the late game... Look that for you, mate. Is that it relies on your team to secure them, right? Got him, boys. Oh, Lord, I have mercy. Okay, I'm good. I'm out of here. Two for two is fine. Two for two is really good there. I actually want to sell my control wards here for the health. I think that's more important. Oh, that healing, yo. That was a lot of healing. Okay, Lucian get bot, I'll get mid. Hello, Jim, puppy. We have no towers this game, by the way. <laughs> like, we're actually getting demolished. <laughs> jungle is a strong role, by the way. This is this is the problem with jungling: is you can have good games yourself, but I don't think it's you're not going to be the one to like win your. <laughs> and I know. I think game, games like this, it's like well. I'm fortunate that I'm playing a, a, a strong, like, Kled is actually quite strong individually, so I can still make plays like I did on the, on the Rengar here. But it's yeah. just a bit tough when lanes struggle, you know. Alright. Let's, uh... I don't know if I'm really strong enough to... Could I kill Orn? I should be able to kill Orn, right? I mean, you'd think as a champion type that Kled would be pretty good at dealing with Ornest. And I have Black Cleaver, right? So, I guess we can try it out. And I have Red Smite. I don't, f whoops. I don't feel like I'm doing much damage to him, honestly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not winning this fight. Maybe Orn's the type of guy that I could whip beat in lane, maybe. Because I, if you do trades with him, like with your with your W, maybe, but just like an all in might not work. That's kind of how it feels. I don't know if that's the case though. I'm not really knowledgeable enough on the matchup, so I'm not sure. Let's go, team. One more. Oh, did that work? No. Yo, can we get Baron off this? I feel like we should try Baron here. Oh, 
Oh, I missed my Q. That's bad. That is also bad. How are we... How do we go from, can we baron this, to... <laughs> we're all dying. <laughs> Am I actually dead? How do we mess it up so bad? Fuck. We just got like two before there. That was so good for us and then we just entered it so hard. Nice, Cassadin. Well played. Well played, Cassadin. Alright. Ah, we need Sterex next. I could go for a Titanic, but I think Sterex is better versus their team. They have a lot of burst damage. They have a good mix of damage as well. And Sterex is just like health. Uh, I have a lot of health too, so... Yeah, we could do Sterex into Titanic Hydra's last item. Oh, lordy. He hurts, but he needs Zonius to do that. I'm feeling this player. Nice. Can we Baron that maybe? No, just lick our wounds. Licking our wounds is fine when we're behind like this. I think that's fine. It does feel nice to play Clare Jungle. I think he's actually pretty good. Or he's better than you, than you might think. And especially in this patch where you want to put focus on Scuttle Crabs, he's really good at taking Scuttle Crab. The downside is like, you want a good mix of being able to take Scuttle and being able to fight players. And I don't think Clare is good at fighting players. Not not early at least. It depends on the matchup, but he's he's not top tier if you go up again like rengar for example if rengar fought me he'd probably destroy me in the early game like almost guaranteed and i would i would say that's probably the way it is with the vast vast majority of jungle matchups people like Lee Sin, kazix would destroy me elise would destroy me even someone like nunu would probably destroy me you know like i, I don't think kled's good early at fighting so if i was against a tank or someone like that someone quite passive Someone who's not strong early, then it wouldn't. It would be fine. But he's the the best people who are good at fighting crabs are the people who are not only good at the crabs, but at, at uh, contesting the crabs as well. Zinzao is probably the best example. Maybe Graves. <clears throat> they're so good at like they're so good at taking crab, and they're really good at killing players. So or, or fighting that one v one, especially early on. Them getting that Baron was pretty expected, honestly. I just don't think we could do anything to stop it, which is why I was kind of nonchalant about it. I'm not really thinking we could do much. If they wanted that Baron, they get it, basically. I'm just... The, the surprising thing about the Baron play there is that they didn't do it earlier, in my opinion. Like, that's just... They should have done it years ago. I've got my ulti for an engage, but... We need them to be in a good spot for it. To come a little bit closer here. Oh, you're kidding. God damn it. That is unlucky. <laughs> that is pretty unfortunate, not gonna lie. Without my ulti to engage, I don't know. Oh god. Okay, the benefit of this fight is that, is that Rengar's a Baron. Nice. Good fight. I 
I don't know, I can defend this one. <laughs> nice, I guess. Let's go, Blitz! Yo, the minions are kicking our ass. Look at all these minions! Yo, ult the minions, GP. Ult the minions! Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> Bloody hell. Bug me is what I'm going to say to that one. Uh, I'm going to give an honor to Cassadin. Yeah, he kind of got smashed in lane. Uh, but he, I feel like he did okay. I don't know. The loss prevented. That's nice. I had fun though. And I, hopefully you guys uh, learned something about Kled Jungle. How Kled works, how he plays, and how to play him as a jungler. And his strengths, weaknesses, and all that. All that rubbish. So hopefully you had fun. If you did, thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more Lee content. Go follow me on my Facebook page, which is fb.gg slash foxtroplol. Twitter, Twitter, well, at foxtroplol. And those are in the description, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in my next.